welcome back and uh, this is my third tutorial for fb chat which is a facebook messenger module in python okay uh, so this is my earlier video where i got several comments and i got questions from user and i th am thankful for that so one of the user asked me like uh, is there a way that i can fetch only the 100 messages is there a way can you provide a way to extract 100 message okay so this is the reason i'm back here and uh, i need to uh set up uh, this uh, tutorial for that okay so for those who have not gone through my tutorial please go through this uh, earlier video if you want to understand this because this is fb chat is a module in python which is used to act as a messenger and it will it will be used to act it will be used to get a facebook user information and everything related to your uh, id it will give you uh, the number of uh, users you have it will give you the user information okay uh, the, the people who are you are chatting with the messages that are there or or the the profile pic, picture everything you can collect using this fb chat so it is nothing but a bot to uh, interact with the facebook okay so yeah so let's start and uh, let's do this okay so i have this uh, let's just start with another program you know because i have practiced on this and i have come up with a solution okay so let's give it from my name you know my uh, fb chat okay so let's give it a name okay so this is my program yeah so let's just create it and uh, we will m mainly focus on how we can read the how we can extract the unread messages okay that is the protocol that is the idea so this is my agenda so i first of all we of course we need to log into the facebook account using the credential that you have and then connect and then you have to fetch the unread messages so once you do the fetch command it will give you a threats okay so there are several messages several th threats that you are talking to so it will give you return you the threats and from that that thread you can fetch the thread info <clears throat> to get the name of the person and the type of the person it should be user type okay because if it's not user type it will not so it will not work out okay and then you will will thread will will fetch the messages as well okay fine so let's start okay so from so we have we need this module fb chat okay so we can extra import the entire fb chat and then we can from fb chat we can import we need models so we can just uh, say client so client is a main uh, class which is used to connect to your profile okay and then from fb chat dot models we need to import certain things let's say model import star okay cool so now we can start so first of all we will connect to your facebook profile so what you need to do is you need to create a text file where in the first line you have to keep your username or the email id and in the second line you have to keep the password of course i cannot show you that here in my tutorial so it is there in my file okay so i'm gonna read that so let's say uh so what i'll do is i'll open that file open and then file so file is there in my uh desktop so let me just see uh this is my file okay so let me just take the property and I will just take the path. Okay, and now the name of the file is id.txt. Okay, so this is how I am going to open the file. Okay, so yeah, so F, and of course you have to, you know, uh, use these. Uh, uh, what do you call uh, to to make it you know literal meaning okay so yeah I think you all know this fine so I have opened the file so what you have to do is uh, you have to op it will give a file pointer right and then from the file pointer we are going to read the lines and 
so from when we read the lines we have data right we re it returns the data okay so from the data zero the will give the first line data one will give the second line and and so on okay so we will uh, we'll claw we'll call this uh, we'll create we'll initiate this uh, initialize this client class okay so what it takes it takes the email id which is my first line okay so we have data zero comma and then we need password which is there in my second line so data one okay and then we need user agent okay so now this is important so you need to define a user agent okay so user agent because user agent is required required only if because what will happen is that if you don't use a user agent it the, your uh, your passwords will be blocked and the facebook will uh, you know prompt you to change your password because of the security reason okay so what you have to do is you just go to your website i mean go to google and just search for what is my user agent okay so so it will give you uh, your uh, your uh, your your user agent okay so it will depending on your uh, browser and all it will give you uh, so just copy that and you can use that so no worries okay so I have just taken it fine okay so now what I'll do is uh, okay so I'll use that user agent at this place cool and then what do we need we need max tries you can put it at one okay so max to max will try only once if, so make sure your password and and usernames are correct okay so it will return an, an object okay so now we are going to use this object to connect object dot uh, what do you call so first of all we'll check if if obj dot is logged in am i logged in or not if i'm not logged in i'll simply say i am not logged in and then only i'll start the process okay so once if, if i'm logged in what is my purpose i have to check what I have to do, I have to, uh, I have to uh, fetch unread message, right? So you have to do obj dot fetch, okay, unread message, fetch unread, okay. So what it will give, it will give a list of threads, okay. So you you'll just store it into threads, fine. So now what you can do is you can simply print these threads directly. So you you will you won't get any information. You will just get the threads like a like a id okay and then else what i'll do is i will say print print uh, uh not not logged in okay so let's just try this much because if the login is not successful i cannot go ahead so i'll just try to run this much okay and let's see if it is successful or not okay so yeah so I'll try to log into my uh, Facebook account. So this is my username, and then you see the login is successful. Okay, now these are the threads that are unread at this moment in my profile. Okay, so now we got the thread ID, but it doesn't show anything, doesn't tell anything. It's not use useful. So what I will do is I will go back and I'll start. So what I need, I need some information like okay, what who, who is this guy? Who what is this thread? So what I can do is I can say okay so while while true okay so I will, what I will say is uh, uh, let's take some input from user uh, enter uh, input okay enter the thread enter the thread number that you want to see okay thread number for which because we have so many threads so we'll just pick one thread at a time and then we will work on that okay so it will give so it should be an integer okay so I will just convert it into an integer okay fine so now what I'm gonna do is I will call this method obj dot uh, fetch fetch 
fetch thread info okay so fetch thread info will give you the name of the person and everything okay so which is who is that guy and then later i will see what are the messages are there for that particular person okay so fetch thread info now what it takes it takes two things okay you have to give it like this okay you have to give uh, like uh, the thread so threads is a is a is a list okay so from that i will just use inp because inp is my number and then i will say threads and then again inp okay so it should be like this okay should be like this fetch thread info and then then the thread one and then the thread one out of that thread one i have to give an again that i have to use the same uh, thread again second time to get the info from that so that is the reason so threads is a list so i want only one out of that so i am taking a an input at a time one at a time we are acting on a thread okay so this will return an info let's say it is an info okay so now from info it, info is again with it will be a list okay so from info what we need so what we can do is we can say print and then format so format is a method to format the output okay so let's say info dot name so we will we'll come to know who is the person okay and then also you can type like info the type to get the user type so let's just focus at this moment at this place only okay so at this place what i will do is i'll say if INP okay not here so after taking the input so if if INP equal equal minus one something like that then I will say uh, break okay else I will continue okay this is the method to come out of the loop okay fine so yeah let's try to run it what will happen let me see okay so i think the audio is good if not let me know okay so these are the threads and then now let's out of these threads let's say i will talk about let's say one okay so you see now what is happening so again one is now see this is the error i, I was talking about so if the thread type is not a user type then we cannot uh, uh, get the information okay it should be a user type only otherwise it'll throw an exception so i'm not handling the exception at this time so i'll run it again and then uh, i will uh, uh, i will try to see so let's just use the third thread okay so let's say two okay so if i say two so now you see now again this is another ad like some kind of ludo club you might have seen in your messenger okay let's see four okay so four is a person okay so you see this is a person actually this is my father <laughs> okay let's see if i say seven what is happening so seven is again the person viveka kumar so now we came to know okay these are the people who have sent me a message which are unread okay so now out of these I want to know what are the messages which is the requirement of a person so now we came to know the person now we'll see the messages so how do we do that we can do that using the fetch thread info okay so I'll say obj dot fetch thread messages sorry so fetch thread messages and then I will say threads I could have done it like an assignment and then i could have assigned it to something but let's say okay inp this is my fetch thread info okay so now it takes two things like the the thread that you want to take the messages out of it or and then comma the uh what do you call let me just close it yeah and then the number of messages so let's say i want to say 10 i want to see 10 messages from a thread okay and then it will return a message list okay and then so since this is a list you cannot directly print it okay so from this you have to write like this for okay so for messages in in message okay what will happen now from that messages because message is a list is a big list if, if you print this now what will happen if you print this print format message it will give a big tuple we'll see that okay so from this okay so let me just comment it out so that it will not be confusing for you so let's run it at this place only so what will happen 
we'll see okay so yeah so now i'll say four or let's say seven okay yeah, so viveka kumar so now see this is the uh, value you are getting when you see fetch thread messages so it has so many things it has message it has emoji it has the mid the person see this is the author okay so if you search this person facebook.com slash and this one you will get exactly the profile of viveka kumar and this is a timestamp and etc okay so from this we want at this time we will only take the message okay so let's just come out of this i'll just say minus one okay so from this i need only text right so i'll say print message dot text okay it will only print the messages right okay so let me just try to run it and see what messages has been sent by that particular person okay so let's say seven okay so seven if i say seven this person and there, there is no message okay let's say nine okay okay this person this guy has also no message so sometimes okay you see now this person usual whoever so this is uh, this person also has no messages let me try 12 okay now you see this, this person has a message okay now there is another problem so this is the messages that are there are in in a reverse format so you need to reverse it back okay so i will because messages are in reversed format so you need to revert it okay so i'll just come out of this and and this next time when i run it i'll just say message dot reverse because then the queue will be reversed okay and then you'll get the exact you will get the exact message lists okay so if i run it again what will happen uh you will get the exact messages so let's say i'll say 12 okay let's say 13 okay so okay so again there is this is the person i haven't seen his message but then but why it is coming none is because you know uh because sometimes you will get uh, an unread pop-up but there is no message in that like you know the new person has become your friend like that so if i say 14 okay yeah so okay this person again no 15 okay no 17 i don't know means i need to check yeah so see this person has some messages but then i haven't seen it okay this is a raj kumar and then see i reverse the messages otherwise it would have, it would have come like this this one i would have gone top and then like this now this is this makes sense hi man who are you i'm raj kumar I, I asked him like who are you he said i don't know so this is a new person i didn't know him so i'll come out of this so likewise you can actually read the uh the c only the person uh, with unread messages okay so this is the solution for that query to i hope this person will get an answer and if he does not he can contact me back okay so i'll say yeah okay so this is the person okay so yeah so this person tj i don't know tz so this 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 will get an answer okay so let me know if this this helps you and maybe i'll i'll come back with another tutorial for uh and in a next requirement for this and uh if this is helpful to you please like and share and uh, of course this Uncanny. is my Let's channel go. and uh please subscribe it linux unix ax and thanks for watching Bye-bye.